So finally for a week six update, we are getting closer and closer to the end. So um, I got a few results, not much, but as most of you know, if you watched my week five video, I did really bad and it was my own fault. You know, I admit my faulties and people do it all the time, but you just gotta not be as weak as I was and just go ahead and use that mind control to get what you want and be determined to get where you want. So with my results, this is week six update. I'll be starting week seven Monday, which is tomorrow. My measurements for week five was 160 pounds for my weight. On week six, I'm 158 now. So I've lost two pounds, which is no big deal. I'm not really going by weight, but I just tell you anyways. Weight is not an issue you need to be worried about. You can gain weight just by drinking water, just by eating food or gaining muscle mass or whatever the case may be. You need to be more worried about your waist and hips and arms and thighs and different measurements. You need to be worried about measurements instead of weight. But I give it to you anyways just to see what the difference is. So the total amount that I've lost for six weeks of P90X so far is six pounds. I went up and down on my weight and that's because I drink sugar drinks, more coffee, more bread, um, just a donut, you know, things that I shouldn't have had. So I paid for it. I didn't have the results for week five and two weeks in a row I've been the same exact measurements and it's not been fun. I don't want to let you guys down like that so I'm going to get with the program and make a few changes to it. But with my results now. So on week five my waist was 30 inches and now on week six my waist is 29 and a half inches. So I've lost a total of a half an inch. At least that's some progress. <laughs> so not what I wanted but uh, my hips were 34 on week 5, and on week 6, they're 33 and a half, so I lost another half an inch. I lost a total of one inch in my whole body, which is no big deal. Woo, you know, no big deal. But I made a few changes. So this week, I'm going to at least try to run at least two days. So I'm going to start myself off small, and that way I can gradually pick myself up to run three days a week or four days a week or or something like that but I'm going to be doing sprints and um, hopefully get more results that way because if you watched one of my videos it's probably a few months ago uh, when I was doing insanity I ran for a week straight probably like four days out of the whole week and I was doing sanity in one week I lost four and a half inches like it was incredible crazy I lost four and a half inches off my waist so I think I might be doing that again uh, but since I moved I got a neighborhood that's like all the houses are real close and there's a lot of dogs and things like that so if you guys have any ideas of what you can do to substitute sprints or running or something that is equivalent to that type of activity uh, let me know put it down in the comments that way I can get more of an idea of how to burn more calories that way and do P90X. Uh, where were we? In my arms and my thighs on week five they were 12 and 23 so they didn't really change any um, but I wanted to give you my results for the whole six weeks I've been on P90X. I've lost a total of six pounds, five and a half inches in my waist, three inches in my hips, one inch off my arms and one inch off my thighs so the program is working it's just I'm not eating the right things that I should be and I should be doing it because I'm sitting here preaching to you guys about it but people just kind of get knocked off the train sometimes and it's hard to get back up so that's what I'm gonna be doing this week I can't go next week and not come up with any results I know that would disappoint you guys and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna keep you strong I'm gonna come back with better results and um, make a few changes. So like I said, if you guys got anything in the comments that you can write to me as far as cardio, something that is equivalent to um, sprinting, just let me know in the comments. That would really help out, so I appreciate that. Um, a lot of the things I've noticed with my body changes is if you look at my first week's body shots, my belly was bulging 
Like you couldn't even see my ribs or abs or nothing. And if you look at the difference in my week five body shots that I did, my stomach, you could actually see the top two abs starting to come out a little bit. And you could actually see my ribs. My stomach is getting a lot flatter. So ladies with the mommy belly, it does get tighter, it does get firmer, and it does go away. I've had it gone away before, and I did the wrong thing by eating the wrong stuff. So I'm back to point A, but I'm telling you moms, you can get rid of that mommy belly. It's no big deal. You just got to put the work in effort to it. Um, so my, I noticed my hips are slimming out. They're not as pudgy. Everything, my skin is a lot tighter, firmer. Everything, um, I can feel more definition. I have my tricep muscles starting to come out again because they were starting to come out in the first round of P90X before I got in my scooter accident. And let's see, what else? Oh, I was wondering if you guys know anything about a body fat indicator. Like, I know you can take your measurements and, and you got these different machines and you can go to the doctor or the gym or something and they can read out some type of something or another. But I was wondering if you guys know any type of machine that I can have at home that's pretty inexpensive, just something basic that's really, really accurate. If you have any ideas, just go ahead and put that down in the comments too. Um, that would really help out a lot. I'm looking for one, but I want to get you guys recommendations you know, in case you have anything that you think works more than the other or anything like that. Because I like to know my body fat. I know I can do the measurements and everything, but I li really like to have a machine that does that. So, if you have one or one that you can recommend, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. This is for week six of P90X. And next week, I'll bring stronger, better results. I'm going to keep you guys strong. But in the meantime, you know the deal. Stay strong, live long, P90X.